Ba -ba -ba boom Hey everybody, Last Outrider here with a Data Slate video for you chaos people out there. You know who you are. This is going to be about Belacor, the first demon prince. Yes, I pronounce it Belacor because it's my video and, you know, come to peace with it. So, <clears throat> this data slate basically only has him in it. I usually start with the flush fluff, but I'm going to start with the rules now for the people who just want to get down to the nitty nitty gritty of Belakar, the first demon prince. Belakar list entry can be selected as an HQ choice in a detachment chosen from either Codex Demons or your all favorite of course Codex Space Mar Chaos Space Marines. Let's see. Belakar's weapon skill is 9. Ballistic skill 5. Strength 6. Toughness 5. Wounds Four, initiative, eight, attacks, five, leadership, ten, and no armor save. It is a troop type of flying monstrous creature. Yes, I know that makes you happy. I'm glad. I'm glad you're so easily entertained. And it's a character, but not an independent character, which I found interesting. Not an independent character. Just a character. So don't don't fuck that up. I'm sure that's going to be happening all over the place. Well, not because it's a monstrous creature, but you, you forget it. Uh, he has a hell-forged artifact called the Blade of Shadows. His warlord trait is, and he has only one, Whilst the Warlord is alive, all enemy units have a negative one penalty to their leadership when taking fear tests. He has the following special rules. He is, of course, a demon and an eternal warrior. He's fearless. He's a level three psyker. He is... um. He has, oh, here, he has every single power from the telepathy discipline. And he has two special ones called Shadow Form, in which Pelakar has a 4 plus invulnerable save and the Shrouded Special Rule. Furthermore, Pelakar will automatically passes any dangerous terrain tests. So for people who want to fly straight into the frickin' woods somewhere, yeah, be happy about Yeah, I know. You're happy about that. Uh, let's see. He has another one called Lord of Torment. What the fuck is that, you're asking? Well, let me tell you. If one or more enemy units failed a morale check during the previous turn, Beleka receives a D3, D3 additional warp charge points at the start of his turn. I, when I read that the first time, my, just the little, the little gray cells, they, the gray cells, they started bubbling. Think, think about that. This guy, first of all, has, as it, He's a level 3 Psyker, and he has every single power in the telepathy discipline. At first, I thought, okay, that's a little overkill. I mean, so what? And then I read Lord of Torment. Every single time you fail a morale check, he gets D3 additional warp tokens. And his Warlord trait is negative 1 penalty to leadership when taking fear tests and that's that's just crazy 
So uh, take advantage of that one. Obviously, you see where they're going with that. That's going to play towards a very, 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 very specific strategy, which is cool. I also like it's cool that he's, the, he, as far as I know, the only uh, Chaos Undivided Demon Prince. So let's look at his Hellforged Artifact. The Blade of Shago Shadows. Dig the Propaganda. Belakor wields a unique ether blade. Its ghastly form in eternal transience between shape and shadow, solidity and silhouette. Mastery of this weapon enables Belakor to scythe through armor, scale, flesh, and bone without resistance. Its essence, changing in an instant from formless shadow to murderous edge at its master's whim. Whether the weapon is a part of the demon itself, or perhaps an ancient gift bestowed upon him by the dark gods that Belakar somehow retained in spite of his fall from favor, none can truly say. Okay. That has got to be one of the longest, most awkward sentences I have ever seen in a book. Yes, that last little spew there was a sentence. This was one sentence. Whether the weapon was a part of the demon itself, or perhaps an ancient gift bestowed upon him by the dark gods that Belacor somehow retained in spite of his fall from favor, none can truly say. 33 words, I think. Right. Let's not, let's, let's not ponder the editing yet. Games Workshop. So what is it? Well, it's range zero, strength plus one. That means he's going to have a strength of seven when he wields it. He's got an, it's got an AP of two. What type is it? Well, it's basically, I'm going to change this from the Blade of Shadows into the, the, the Blade of I Fucking Win. That's what it is. Uh, tell me I'm wrong. It's, it's a melee weapon. It has armor bane, flesh bane, master crafted, and a specialist weapon. Sounds, it's the sort of I win. The, the Really, the only thing that I was surprised about this is you would figure with all this Bane shit they have going on and an AP of two, but how many idiots in the game are running around with invulnerable saves? You know? you, you, you I really would have thought that this would have cut through invulnerable saves because that... Especially as a demon weapon. I mean, is this is going to be used against other demons, I guess, or something like that. They all... Uh, forget it. Never mind. So, you know, invulnerable cover save shit like that will easily, easily make this not a problem. So let's look at his uh, little fluff behind him. Beleka, the first demon prince, is ancient beyond imagining. The demon prince, Belakar, is the first of his kind, raised up from mortality by the gods of chaos combined. He was given a portion of each of their power. Belakar's fate has ever been influenced by the endless struggle between the gods, as he is beholden to each of the chaos gods equally. At first, Belakor used the jealousy of the ruinous powers to gain their favors, never completely swearing his allegiance to any one of them. That sly little bastard, yeah. He's such a tease. Yeah, you know, the fact, I swear, Belakor should have, should have, should have, should have been a female. Really, I mean, it makes this is the way they're making it sound here. Fuck it. At first, Belakar used the jealousy of the ruinous powers to gain their favors. Listen to that. Okay, come on. Never completely swearing his allegiance to any one of them. For a time, the gods fought over Belakar, like children might squabble over a favored toy or 
well, you get you get my my idea from before. However, they soon realized the folly of combining their might into a single vessel, as Belacor was nearly uncontrollable. They soon began to raise up new demon princes, each god choosing only champions that would be loyal to them, and them alone. Yep. Uh, it sounds like demon princes are are the chaos god's girlfriends. Uh, Belacor remained the strongest of the demon princes, though his might was diminished as the gods spread their favor amongst other servants. Nevertheless, Belacor remains a master of shadows, moving beyond the veil of history and behind it, exerting the will of chaos gods upon the universe. And now let's give some quotes. He is not many. He is one. He is the first, a creature as old as creation itself. He has moved unseen between the stars for millennia, twisting the fates of many races and feeding upon their misery. But I have found him. I have learnt his name. Tech, Magos, Kyber, Aberasti, to the Council of Chalice. And another one for you. Only a tr fool trusts a demon. They are made of the very stuff of change. The raw madness of the warp made manifest. However, like men, demons are creatures of greed, pride, and arrogance. And these things I trust completely. Abaddon the Despoiler. There you go. That is him for you. Still think he should be in the girl? I hope you enjoyed that. Until next time, bye. Oh, one more thing. Haha, <laughs> if you're still here, you can consider it an Easter egg. There's a problem with Belakar's history. A temporal problem. If he is really the first demon prince and has the blessings of all the chaos gods, which would include Slanesh. Can you see where I'm going here, people? Slanesh occurred at the fall of the Eldar. And the fall of the Eldar did not happen at the beginning of creation. And yet they said Belakar was about an ancient creature at the beginning of creation, the first demon prince with all of the powers combined, which if that is true then there were no demon princes before the Eldar fall. It can't be. Either he only had, either he doesn't have all the powers, or he's not the first demon prince. Or he wasn't, he's not as old as the beginning of creation, I guess. Or it took from then to the fall of the Eldar, which still makes him relatively fucking new, if that's the case. Uh, as a demon prince. Hmm. Got to do some editing there. A little, 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 little problem. Little problem with the uh, fluff, I think, there. But who knows? We'll, we'll see if anybody else notices that. Until then, now I'm saying bye. Ha, 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 ha. Bye. Mm.